Hello friends, welcome to Hop Info channel. From this video, we are going to talking about the isolation procedures from the working place and log out, tag out systems procedures. So isolation procedures. An isolation procedure is a set of predetermined steps that should be followed when the workers are required to perform tasks such as inspections, maintenance, cleaning, repair, and construction. The aim of an isolation procedure is to isolate all form of potential hazardous energy to ensure that an accidental release of hazardous energy does not occur. Control all other hazards to those doing the work. Ensure that entry to a restricted area is tightly controlled. The following lookout process is the most effective isolation procedures. Shut down the machinery and equipment, identifying all energy source and other hazards, identify all isolation points, isolate all energy source. In the case of electrical equipment, all current isolations, such as the main isolator, should be used instead of controls isolations by way of the stop button on a control panel. Control or de-energize all stored energy look out all isolation points using padlock multi-padlock has and danger tax danger tax machinery controls energy source and other hazards Locks and danger tags. Every person working on isolated equipment should fit their own look and or danger tag. Alternatively, another management approved the systems that achieve an equivalent level of the safety may be used. When using locks or danger tags, consider the following. Number one is tags should be dated and signed. Number two is locks should be accompanied by a corresponding tag to identify who has located out the plan. Tags and logs should only be removed by the persons who applied them or by the supervisor after consultations with the sign entry of the danger tag. Number four is in the event that the person who applied the danger tag is unavailable, their tags or log may only be removed in accordance with management approved procedure. Number five is danger tags and or logs should be fitted to all isolation points. Out of service tax. What is the out of service tags? Out of service tags are used to identify equipment or machinery that has been taken out of service due to fall, damage, or malfunctions. The out of service tag is to be securely fixed to the operating control power isolator with the, with the appropriate details completed on the tag, explaining the reasons the reason for the machines being out of service. The out of service tag should not be removed and until the equipment is safe to be returned to service or the reasons for the out of service tax no longer exist. The out of service tax may be removed by persons who attach it. If the supervisor responsible for the repressions or repair of the equipment, the maintenance persons who carried out the repairs. Here we come to the end of the video, do not forget to subscribe and like my channel, until another video have a good times and bye.